welcome back to my channel, The Book Champ. My name is Max, and today we're going to be talking about the novel Valentine by Elizabeth Wetmore. So this book talks about how women are treated, how their life is in the 1970s in Texas. The book starts off really, really good, guys. Like, I am hooked in the first chapter alone. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I just couldn't wait to, like, like, read through this book. And it was so enticing, guys. So this book starts off with the main character. Her name is Gloria. She's 14 years old, and she's just woken up from being brutally raped. So imagine reading a book starting off with that, like, like traumatic event. I can't praise it enough guys. That was a sure like a huge hook that totally got me into it And then like, we kind of like stop there and then the rest of the book We're just introduced to the other characters every chapter just goes really deep in each like a different character So you forget about Gloria the rape victim and you start caring about this other lady because that's what the chapter is about That chapter comes to an end. It's like okay and to another lady and we start learning about her history Like what she's been through and then it cuts off and then another character comes in and it's like like, and after so many stories, guys, it goes back again to Gloria and it does another circle, like two circles on each person. Your attention is kind of like scattered throughout all the other stories. Every one of these people is their main character in their chapter. So for me, it was just like, ah, like it was just too many stories to keep track of in my mind. It was a lot. It was a, really a lot. I just felt like some of the characters didn't really need to be there, you know, like their chapter didn't need to be written. Like every single time a character was introduced, their backstory was introduced with them. Like they carried so much baggage. It felt like you're reading like, a biography about this other character. It ends and then another biography on another character. Honestly, if their stories weren't even told, like I think it just would have been better if you just focused on Gloria. So I just felt like the hook that it, it got me to really be invested in this book, Gloria, what happened to her, it just, it, yeah, that's it. it just kind of fell through it was just meant to be hooked to get you into like reading the book and then it just it lost me man it lost my attention this one tried to cram like so many characters in there it gave you too much on the platter and you were like Ugh. and it just felt like it, it just it crashed and this book like does not have quotation marks guys without quotation marks for me it just feels so impersonal like ah! like who's talking like is this a story i'm reading are you just thinking that's in your mind like what's going on i don't like it <laughs> when books don't have quotation marks guys i mean i don't know if it's a trend because this is the second book i read without any quotation marks and i'm not liking it <laughs> and this is not like a happily ever after like story guys i like, at all like it was just like a book about telling that bad things happen to women and you just gotta deal with it sometimes like there's not even justice and you just feel like so what did i read <laughs> i didn't feel like the whole like loop was complete i still felt like what it was just like i'm here for gloria and it's just like you're giving me the run around but like the middle of the book i just lost its traction it lost its way it wasn't centered around a rape victim it was just telling every woman's story you know like oh. and it just kind of like try to connect them relate them somehow even like barely like a sliver if they even like knew her saw her down the street their story was like included in the book and i was like no like less is more there's no really like resolution that really sat with you like oh yeah i feel justice like there wasn't any it just kind of felt like mm, mm, life goes on and that was it you know like oh the way she describes Texas though is really good guys. It's on point like I live in Texas So I was very like oh my gosh like it's so good I wonder if she's ever lived in Texas like that's like the best description of Texas I have ever read and so I do like thumbs up for that. So I'm gonna give this book one bookworm point out of five just because every person in the book has a chapter for themselves and it's like such a long chapter, guys. Like you forget about what happened, what caught your interest in the beginning. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Comment down below if you read this book. Like let me know what I missed or if you liked it, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Like everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So if you enjoy book reviews, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It'll always let you know when my videos should be uploaded. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.